Right, welcome back. It's been a few months since the uh, my last model, which was the Marquee Raider. Um, after two months of working on uh, a 1350 scale USS Arizona build, which failed, it's been a few couple of weeks since that. So here's time for my next build. Right, going over to my chest reader. As you can see, it is the AMT reissue of the Batwing from the original Batman film, the 1989 with Michael Keaton. Box isn't too bad. It's got nice artwork on it. You can see it comes with a base and a little backdrop, which I'll show you in a minute. And it is all built up with a full detailed cockpit. You get the scissors in front as well as an option from when he took uh, Joker's uh, balloons with smiley gas. You can see it's got 62 parts, so not too bad of a box. Well, there's, uh, there's two main sprues, as you can see, you've got bits of wings, bits of bodywork, you've got landing gear, you can do this in landing gear, but I'm going to do it in flight mode. You've got the bucket seats, there's the two scissor pieces for the uh, front bit for the Joker's balloons, and you can see you've got a full Batman figure with two arms, the front body and the rear of the body. There's no hole in the rear of the body either. Uh, oh, it's on the other side. You can see you, got, you can see the bit of a cape there. But at least there ain't no hole in the back of the body as with most kits with figures. You've got the top half and the bottom half of the main fuselage, as you can see. There's the bottom piece. Uh, Probably about as big as my hand, so this is not not a small model. You got the four halves of the wing, as you can see. So it is going to be quite big, as you can see. The detail is really really nice, not bad at all. See all the panel lines as well; they're lovely and crisp. Then you've got the base, as you can see, with the Batman motif. So I'll probably go all that with yellow and then the rest of the motif in black. You've got the canopy, which is in two halves, as you can see. And the rod for the base. Instructions are fairly, fairly straightforward. It says that the main colour is medium grey, so I'm pretty sure that's going to be anthracite, which I'm going to use, as I did with the Airwolf. As you can see, it's fairly straightforward. And it tells you where to put the backdrop up. So I'm just going to pause this for a sec so I can put the backdrop up. And there's the backdrop, just folded out so you can see what it all looked like. And it looks like the sky of Gotham in the 89 film. Not bad at all. So there we go. Um, I have gone, I will admit I've gone Michael Keaton, Michael Keaton Batman era mad because I've got another two kits from the same range, the Batmobile and the uh, Batboat from Batman Returns. So it's time to start get cracking on with the Batwing, one of three. Stay with me. Right, construction has started on the Batwing, um, namely the bottom plate with the uh, landing gear covers, two halves. Um, I'm doing this flight mode, as I said. And then you add a landing gear cover there, and then one there, one there, and one there. But there was a massive gap between the when when they were when they were glued in. So you can see I've just filled those in. I want. I mean, I obviously want them lines to be visible, just not less prominent, like a ditch, as it were. And I filled in those bits as well. I've also glued the two halves of each wing together, as you can see. There's a little hole there. Um, I basically, what I did is, um, when I glued the two halves together, I put some tape on the various parts of the wing to hold them together while the glue dried. Once the glue had dry, I took the um, tape off and I test fitted the wings as per the plans, as you can see. Um, unfortunately, that little notch there is like a locking notch, it's like an L shape and it goes all the way down. As you can see the L shape there. And that locks into the little hole that's in here. 
I mean, I can demonstrate there is a little hole because my tweezers have disappeared the tips. And you basically put them in at an angle and they actually go in. But the trouble is, I could get that wing off, but I couldn't get this wing off. I mean, I could still manoeuvre that on the other side. It still like goes like that. So I can get my glue in. I wish I'd have actually glued the wings in as I, as I test fitted them, but it doesn't matter. Um, I've also put the stabiliser wings in. So that's the bottom of the bat wing done with the wings. You can see I've also put Batman together himself um, around the arms. There's a bit of a gap. Basically, the arms were two halves. You actually add the outer arm and then his inner forearms with the actual um, the, claw the claws. Um, that, that actually glued from there to there. And then I've obviously got to do the seam work. But there was a massive hole round the bridge of his arms into the bat suit so I've had to fill those in slightly but he, like I said he's glued in wonderfully um, I've also glued the seat into the, um, the the cockpit tub I wrapped some tape around the top of the seat and then I used my G clamp to hold the seat down because it kept wanting to pop up and I've also got the steering wheel and the, um, the dashboard out as well but uh, it is going very quickly, this progress. Stay with me. Okay, and welcome back. Um, a bit more work has been done on the uh, Batwing. Uh, first, namely, as you can see, I've uh, primed the control sticks, the dashboard, and the uh, seat. But I actually forgot to put the... Um, targeting viewfinder arm and the actual viewfinder reticules itself but I'm doing it a bit different as it says on the plans as you can see on the plans it tells you to put the arm in on the top of the um, seat and then have the uh, targeting reticule right in front of his face I've decided not to do that on that one I've decided to put it in before he actually pulls it out to target Joker while he's standing on the ground in front of his float. So basically I've just cut the side off the reticule, kept the side piece, glued that on, just trimmed it slightly and then put the reticule on the side like that and then just glued that to the side so I've got a primer that. As you can see I've also primed Batman as well. Um, I've painted half of his bat suit and the flesh and I'm going to do, I've just put a bit of white in his eye sockets so I can have his eyes white, his actual um, pupils. I've also sanded down the um, where I'd filled it in with the uh, filler. You can see it looks a bit better now. And I've also glued the wings into the side now, as you can see by the co copious amounts of tape that I've put on. And underneath as well as you can see, bound by my finger and my thumb, in the corner of the joint in the front and the corner of the joint at the back and the little wing tips at the back there. So that's, that's drying. And I moved on to the top now. I've put the um, stabilising fins on the, on the both of those on, as you can see. Um, I've also put the front guns on. Now um, there wasn't there wasn't any holes there, but what I did is there was a massive seam line down the side, so I just sanded the seam line flat, and then I can with it, with it flatness I can actually glue it into the side, as opposed to drilling a hole and just having it. Um, glue in there so I've just like flattened those and just pushed them into the side and it looks really really nice but uh, progress continues on the on the uh, batwing stay with me okay another update for you as you can see I've now took all the tape off that was holding the wings down um, while they were gluing and you can see that I've done a bit more filling because that channel there was too deep so I filled that in, uh, let it dry, sanded it down and then just tied it up with a, with a bit of a damp cloth and you can see the lines look absolutely lovely on the main but underneath the back wing. Putting that to one side, you can see that I've now painted the cockpit tub in the black. On the inside, I haven't bothered doing the outside as you can see because you're not going to see that. I've done all that in matte black. And um, I've also uh, sprayed the actual target reticule arm, and that's all in the black as well. 
I've also painted the dashboard in the black and the control sticks. And last but not least, Batman himself, in all in matte black. Underneath as well, as you can see, on his cape and around his legs and everywhere. Um, I've also done the number 61 Humbrol Fesh for his face and the 24 trainee yellow Humbrol for his belt. Now you'll notice that he's always on black. Um, I did initially paint them white, as you know. But I just couldn't get it right trying to do his uh, eyes, so I just painted over it in the black instead. I mean, you don't really see his eyes that well anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Now, the one thing I forgot to mention in the unboxing video was the decal sheet. It's a small decal sheet, and um, you've got all the markings for the back wing itself. Um, that little crest there has got to go onto the Batman figure chest, and you've got the dashboard. And then you've got the various console decals. So now the actual cockpit tub's done. I can start with the console decals. Stay with me. Right, and welcome back. You can see that I've primed the bat wing now. So you've got the top half there, all lovely and primed in the same colour. Turning it over. A little bit of primer got in underneath, but you're not really going to see any of this because the cockpit glues in from the underneath and it glues onto that little lip there so you're not going to see any of that so it's the top half the bottom half of the back wing as you can see where I'd uh, filled the lines in and around the um, the landing gear doors you can see I've still got a little, a little bit of a line but the uh, line trench are, uh, trenches aren't as deep as there was so you can see that's all lovely and priming turning it over you can also see that I've put the air brakes in. I forgot to mention that in my last update. Um, I basically um, masked all that off because I think the um, some of the, the top halves can have to glue onto that. So I wanted to leave that unprimed. Um, probably some of this is actually visible as well. So I've, I've actually primed that. I think the actual line goes down there where it glues onto, but that doesn't matter. But the reason that I primed that because that is actually still quite visible when the tops are. So I've obviously got to take all that out of the newspaper, but it's looking lovely and primed. And then last but not least on the primary, you can see that I've done the um, the claw now, the scissor claw that pops out the front when uh, between there when he's get capturing all the balloons from Joker's parade. But uh, that's pretty much where I'm sitting at the moment. I can now start paint. Stay with me. Right, welcome back. As you can see, the interior cockpit is all done. Basically what I did is I put the decals in first, the actual console sidewall decals. You probably just make them out underneath his arm. Then I did the dashboard decal, and then I microsetted and microsold them, and then sealed them. You got a couple of console decals there, and you got one right at the end there on the actual um aiming armature. Once I'd sealed all that, I then finished off Batman with a black coat of paint, put the decal on and the flesh, and then sealed him with Humbrol satin coat, because I didn't want too much of a shine. Just wanted a hint. So I put him into place. He's not glued into place because the armature and the actual dashboard, actually with the steering wheel, actually locks him into place, so he, he still moves a bit, but he, he ain't going anywhere. And then basically, I just put the dashboard on top. Now with the control stick stroke steering wheel, the plans call for you to be sticks down. I've actually done it sticks up. Because if you watch the bat, the bat wing scene, you can actually see that he's, uh, he sticks them actually up. So I just basically just rest them in his hands and then right where it touches the steer, the actual dashboard with that little hole, just put a drop of glue in there and just let the actual gravity of the steering wheel in his hands just hold it into place. But that is now ready to be glued in once I've finished painting the rest of the bat wing. Stay with me.